Hi everybody, Steve Griffiths here, developer of the MT Predictor Software Program. In today's uh, video, I'd like to use our new MTP RT add-ons for NinjaTrader 7 to take a look at a lovely, uh, what we call Holy Grail trade setup that unfolded on the 5-minute NQ yesterday. It's this particular setup here. First of all, you can see this is against the blue STF, which is our color-coded trend indicator, so this wouldn't be for standard traders. However, this is a great trade setup that we teach for our more advanced users. So I just want to just go through it and show you um, how we do this. First of, first of all, uh, for our large degree trend, we go out to our higher time frame chart. So on our 3 and 5 minute charts, this means changing up to a 15 minute chart. Now for this, rather than using the STF um, indicator, which like any indicator is, uh, is lagging in its, um, um, in its use, we want to have leading or indicators that are on our chart that help predict future or areas of support and resistance before the market gets there. So for this we go back to prior pivots. You can see there's a very good uh, obvious prior pivot here. We right mouse click and then we can use what we call our decision point tool. This places a level on our chart of where we anticipate uh, support or in this case resistance as it's a high uh, coming in in the future. So I just want to grab this across and just drag it across there a little bit so it's uh, it's up there. Now the point being is that these are on the chart in advance. So before the market even opened, which was this thin grey line here yesterday, so before it even opened, this decision point resistance was on the chart there waiting for you. You can also see that we had a, um, a DP automatic sell signal up at the top here as well if I place the analysis on uh, there as well. Uh, that helped gave extra confirmation that there was a potential sell signal there as well. I'll just take that analysis off, clear, uh, where are we clear, trade setups, and I'll just clear the uh, risk reward as well, there we go. Uh, there's also a DP from a prior pivot here as well, you can see up there. Let's see how this looks now on a 5 minute chart. So if we go down to a 5 minute chart, can you see how, I'll just drag that one across a bit so it makes it a little bit easier to see. There it is, that one there. And also we have this one here. So can you see what happened? Basically, just after the open in this area here, the um, NQ went up and actually found resistance right in this higher time frame resistance area. In other words, started to make a high. So we then deem this as what we call an important high. In other words, it's important because it's made at a higher time frame support, or in this case, resistance. So after an important high, we then had an initial decline. That's this initial decline here off the high. Uh, then we look for an ABC retracement, which then forms the first correction after the initial move off the important high. What's so important about this? Well, in Elliott wave terms, the initial decline off an important high or low will be deemed a wave 1. The initial correction will be deemed a wave 2, but more importantly, wave 2's tend to subdivide into minor ABC's and this is exactly what happened here. So when we had our TS3 cell set up here, and I'll place the analysis on here, you can see that this found the ABC, but the important thing about this is because we now anticipate this is going to be a wave 2, because it's the first correction, after the initial decline, after a important high, made at a higher time frame resistance, rather than looking to come out at our first uh, profit target, which by the way would have been a nice 4.9R uh, profit, we actually look to come out at our wave 3 uh, profit target. So if I drag that down and take it down to there. Why a wave 3? Because we are anticipating this is a wave 2, because it's the initial correction. After a wave 2, you tend to get a wave 3. A wave 3 tends to be the strongest and longest wave in a completed 5-wave uh, sequence, therefore tends to be the largest profit potential for the smallest initial risk. And as you can see, that's exactly what happened here with a potential profit of just over 10 times the initial risk at that typical wave 3 WPT. Remember, we use correct position sizing here to vary the number of lots, contracts or shares to keep our initial risk small under control. Um, if I just clear this off, I want to just address this history triangle here. You can see we had a little triangle here. Now that means there was a, another potential setup at this particular point in time here. However, if you go down to the one minute chart, you can see that the market actually went up and hit the um, 
stop trigger before, I say that again, before coming down and hitting the entry trigger. So on this particular setup, even though it shows as a history triangle here, this trade setup would have been invalidated before it was actually filled. So there's actually no trade at that first history triangle there. That's why we allow you to place the analysis on these history triangles and allow you to look in more detail to see what actually happened. So the actual trade setup would have been a bit later off this red bar here and it would have been taken in the next bar and obviously the market went down. Again, why is this such a good trade setup? Well, it's such a good trade setup because we're aiming for the typical wave 3 WPT and that is usually the strongest and longest uh, swing in a completed five wave sequence. How do we know to go for the typical wave 3? Well, we do that because uh, we anticipate this is a wave 2 correction. We anticipate it is a wave 2 correction because it's a minor ABC correction in the initial correction after the initial move off an important high. So this whole uh, tr potential trade setup was all anticipated in advance because we had this 15 minute resistance on our charts there before the market even opened. This is the power of these uh, these leading tools in MT Predictor because they got that on the chart already. So as soon as you saw this market coming up into this larger degree resistance, you could then have followed the initial decline, then be looking <coughs> for the initial ABC correction to then know that any sell setup like this would be what we classify as a holy grail trade setup. Obviously, you have your scanners running in NinjaTrader in the market analyzer, so this setup would have been um, uh, highlighted at the time as well. But the point being is you would have known well, well, well in advance that you were anticipating an ABC correction and anticipating a holy grail type, type sell. And as you can see, the result was a lovely 10R profit in relation to uh, the small initial risk. These trade setups were the reason why I designed MT Predictor in the first place uh, over 13 years ago, because I know in my Elliott Wave experience that these kind of trades are the best I think there are because the profit potential is so large in relation to the initial risk. And as you can see, here we had an absolutely perfect example of this that unfolded uh, yesterday on the 5-minute uh, NQ.